Hey everyone, welcome to the Hornet King channel and this is by far the longest Hornet video on YouTube, guaranteed. I show the progression of this relocated European Hornet colony that I stuck in my barn in the early July and I watch it progress day by day and some days three times a day where I got up in the morning and filmed in the afternoon and filmed after removals and in the evening, sometimes even at nighttime at like midnight and to show how busy these colonies are and you get to see the progression, not only of how they build the nest, but how they communicate, how they interact with each other, how the queen lays her eggs, what they eat, all that stuff. You get to see it in this video. So run out to the kitchen real quick, grab some snacks. I'll wait right here, go ahead. Grab your chips, popcorn, broccoli, whatever you wanna eat. Snack and watch this video. So you get to see the progression of this colony from when it started from this to this. Here's the video guys, check it out. Down under here underneath this insulation is the nest. Right there. And we'll get it out. All right, so I just got back from the removal. Hornets are in this box and they're buzzing. And then I'm gonna put them in this box, which the same box I had in Hornets in last year. So it'll sit like this. That's the outside hole and then We'll be able to watch them grow throughout the summer. I'm going to hot glue the nest to the wood. I'll close all this up and then they can't get out of here, but they'll be able to get outside through that hole because they won't be able to fly around in my barn. Bottom screen on and that'll attach here and that way they can't get down to the bottom, but this lets their waste and stuff drop. So that way it doesn't trap in the wood, which it kind of does anyway a little bit, but at least it doesn't drop and saturate the bottom. I'm just going to start with a couple beads here on the bottom. And the queen's still on here, so that's good. And there's a couple in here, so I'm going to go ahead and try to catch them. Alright, I think I got them all in there. Alright, I call that a success. So far it's holding pretty good. Let's try that. I'm gonna go put it down in the barn. All right, let's see if we can see the queen. She's in there somewhere. Oh, she's up, she's up top. That's her butt towards us. Oh, that one's blocking us now, but. All right, glue is holding, so it should be good. It'll be interesting to see these guys develop. They've definitely added some envelope inside this hole. That hole was not that narrow before. Hey, she's checking out. She's doing she's doing orientation flights. That must be her first flight. If it was their first flight, they would come out and they would do a couple circles and they'd go higher and do circles and they'd inspect the hole from this side before they actually fully took off. Yeah, they're building quite a bit already. It's crazy. And I think there were some that were on their way out, like hatching. I really ought to set up like a time-lapse camera in here, watching them build. They are just they are just racking on the material. It's crazy. Pretty soon that whole thing is just going to be caked in an envelope. Hello, everybody. It's the queen over there. Got a lot of comb on. Look at all that envelope they got on here already. It's all new envelope. All right, it's so day two, later in the afternoon, and they got a significant amount of comb and some eggs in here. You see the egg there? So they are doing really, really well. There's a lot of envelope up here already. It's not quite attached to the comb yet. So good. Oh, somebody just peed on me. Wasp pee. Okay, this is day three. Oh, the envelope they put up here. A whole new set of comb there. Lots of larvae still. And they haven't dropped any larvae down. Oftentimes when I do relocations, some of the larvae don't make it. So they drop them, they pull them out of the cells and they drop them onto the screen. So I think this might be one of the earlier colonies I've started. Oh, she's got a bunch of stuff. What she have? Uh, oh, she dropped some of it. And she's got to pass it off to the other workers. Like they're all sharing it. See them over there? Oh, 
That's really cool. So they're going to chop it up, share it, and it looks like it's meat of some kind. For whatever reason, they're dropping out this larva. It's pulled it out of the cell. You can't tell if they're chewing it up or if they're just checking it over. Usually they just pull it out and then they drop it. All right, day four. You got a lot of envelope up top there. You can't even see where I glued it. That's all new. There's a lot of eggs in there. Oh, somebody just peed. That's why I don't have a uh, wooden bottom. That's why I have a screen on the bottom. So that way when they pee, it just drips out. There's probably about five or six out foraging. It's hard to tell how many are actually in the colony because they're out foraging so often and 24 seven. So at nighttime as well, that you can't really count individuals very well. Always cool to watch them build the cells. Cause you'd think that they're making like a perfect hexagonal every time, but kind of starts like conical shaped. And then, I mean, they have the lines in it and it is hexagonal, but it's not perfect until it like gets up towards the, the very top once they're done laying it. Girl here that lost the entrance way. She came back towards the right spot, but she didn't get to the entrance way. So she's kind of hunting around. She thinks it's at the door. So you find her way back to the, the entrance ways here. <laughs> You're close girlfriend keep going it's wild they can even get back to like even the same location let alone like like pinpoint it to the same hole all right come on you can do it no down not up yeah, their instinct is always to climb up Yep, she's almost there. She's almost there. Come on, girlfriend. Oh, you're so close. She'll get it. She'll get it. She's almost there. There she goes. And then she went. Good for her. <laughs> so they're doing really, really well. Look at all the envelope that they have up here. And I think this has only been five days. I like how big their comb has gotten. Like they're just doing so well. All of this envelope is brand new. There was no envelope in here when I put this up, as you remember from like a minute and a half ago. All right, so this is the morning of day six or seven. I'll have to check. There's a ton of envelope going up already. A lot of envelope in the entranceway. Cells got a lot of larvae in them, which is great. Queen's still up there. I just saw her. I think she went up on the top again. Lots of progress, lots of envelope. It's even coming down past the comb on that side. Listen to the sounds under here. Doesn't seem to be wet on the bottom yet, but it'll get wetter. Looking good, ladies. Keep doing your thing. Okay, the morning of July 14th. Oh, so you have a casualty. Lots of envelope on this nest already. I know I say that pretty much every video, but every time I come in here, it just like blows my mind how much envelope they've put on since the day before. Or even just like a few hours before. July 15th but the nest is looking great that middle comb wasn't there when I first put this in the first day they started making additions to it now it's one big patty queen he's right there looking good lots of envelope look at all that envelope and they don't really care about me at all I think I tap on this box by accident they just don't seem to mind. All right, it's later in the day on the 15th of July. All right, still July 15th. This is at nighttime. And our girls are banging it away. Look at all that envelope. That's a ton of envelope. Doing so well. <laughs> Shut up. Looking good, girlfriends. Keep up the good work.
in less than 24 hours they have put a third layer of comb so that's great there's a couple new adults in there they're just cleaning off their wings lots of envelope there's actually there's eggs inside of those new cells look at that that's wild listen to the sounds under here About, about 8.30 at night, and they're still very, very active. Even more envelope put on. There's these little chasms over here. But they're chewing down. See, this is what they do. This is a perfect example. Let me see if I get this in here. All right, so there's a hole chewed in this, but there's a layer built over top now. So they'll chew down inner walls of envelope to make room for comb. So that comb was practically touching the envelope wall. They built new envelope up here at the top and they're chewing away the inner wall here. So that this top wall will then cover the whole thing and they'll probably chew that whole part out. So this is the queen right here. Hey queenie. Getting a little bit of sustenance from the larva. There's a lot. There's a, the ones that are um, put their heads inside the cells. Those are new adults that recently hatched. So we got some new workers going to be available to start going out and collecting and foraging and getting materials. So the nest will get bigger and bigger and bigger. So we got three comb on this nest now. So keep watching as it develops. A lot of extra work here. A lot more envelope. Added more to this side. Took more out of there too. Catch anything recent? There's some legs in there. Some cricket legs some dead Europeans nothing too crazy just yet doing good ladies keep going July 17th looking good girlfriends lots of new envelope up here you can actually still see one of my glue marks <laughs> but a lot of envelope over here making way for comb to be built out through that layer Okay, July 18th. A lot more envelope as usual. There's somebody sleeping here underneath, uh, right above the third comb. A lot more envelope built on here. Oh yeah, they chewed way down. Holy cats. Look how much they chewed out. So they, I showed you before how they were chewing away that lower layer. Well, they've chewed it all the way out. Wow. I told you that's what they were going to do. 19th of July. Chewing out some more of this envelope on the sides here. Even got some envelope on the ground. Well, on the bottom. Larva down there. She must be sick. They'll pull larva out if they're sick or something's wrong with them. And it's doing really, really well. Still, I know I say that every day, but it just does. It always just blows my mind how much they've built on. Like this one's building on comb. This one here is building envelope. This one's got cellulose to build on some envelope or some comb. Very, very active. Listen to the sounds of this. Sounds like someone poured a bowl of Rice Krispies. <laughs> All right, keep going, girlfriends. All right, so this is later in the day, July 18th. There's the queen right there at the bottom. Hey, queenie. A lot of envelope put on here. They're still building the uh, comb outward. They've been adding quite a bit of comb, actually, the last uh, day or two. This one's got it gets a bug of some kind. We should go split it up with the uh, nursery workers to give it to the larva. 
This queen's laying an egg. Look at this. That is the queen laying an egg in a cell. How cool is that? I don't want to move the phone to zoom in. I guess I'll just zoom in digitally. But that is freaking wild. Because there's stingers off to the side. I don't know if you can see the stinger. It's kind of shooting off to the right-hand side. It's almost like the stinger is out of the way for some reason. Unless that's just hair. I can't really tell by my screen. But So she'll sit like this for like 15 minutes. As she lays the egg. I would sit here and watch her, but I actually want to look at more things here. There's a couple larvae that they dropped out. It's three larvae that I see. So they must have been sick for some reason. They pulled them out of the cells. It could be that. And then sometimes um, workers will lay, lay eggs, which become males, and the queen will pull them out. So she polices to keep workers from laying eggs. Once it's later in the season, she can't police all the cells, then... That's when workers will start laying. They're, they're swapping, uh, swapping meat right there. And she already laid the egg, actually. The egg is already out. Unless she's laying a second egg in the same cell. And sometimes I do find multiple eggs in cells. So... All right, so July 20th, about nine in the morning. And here's where we're at. This whole side is now chewed out, just like they did over there initially. Spanning the comb, chewing out the inner layers. These guys are chewing something up together. Looks like maybe used to be a grasshopper, or Katie did. This one back here is doing the same thing. She went something up. The edge of the comb is getting very, very close to that inner part of the envelope there. And once they keep building that out, they'll start chewing away the inner layer. This one's laying some envelope. That's the queen right there. All right, so today is the 22nd of July, and we are still doing awesome. Lots and lots of new envelope, and tearing down lots of envelope. Lots of building. So I'm going to do some time lapse today. So we can get some good shots showing. So what I do is actually undo the screw that's under here. And I lower this down so I can get the GoPro in there. GoPros are junk, but it will film for a long time. So, well, as long as the battery lets it. So, I'll get it set up a while. The queen, holy cats. It throws me off when I look at the bottom comb layer. And it's like freaking another inch, maybe around in diameter. Lots of envelope. Like they even like filled in the holes. I think that was yesterday that they, there was a lot of holes here on the side. What about this side? Okay, July 24th, around noon. We got a lot of activity. There's some eating, some chopping something up to feed the larva. There's been several hatches here because there's a lot more hornets in here than what there were the last couple days. Nest obviously just continues to grow. Alright, July 24th, and the hornets have caught another wasp, and they were just tearing it apart. Of course, now I can't get a good angle on what, where are they. There's two there, they're chewing on something. I can't tell exactly what that is. Some kind of wasp or beetle. It's pretty large. Doesn't look like a bald-faced hornet, it's either a mud dauber or... 
like I said, some kind of beetle. And this one here has the guts of a Katie did or a grasshopper. They're all chewing at something, mashing it up. They give it to the larva. So it is looking great under here. And right now I'm getting some time lapse. The crappy GoPro. Well, it's a GoPro 10, but GoPros in general are crappy. I'll say that in every video. Moving right along. This is the queen here. She's the one chewing at that. Remember in the last video when I said that the European hornets had built envelope inside the hole? Well, they chewed away a lot of the envelope inside this hole. <laughs> That's funny. Excuse me, everyone. So, well, sorry I was in your way. <laughs> they don't care about me being here at all. Neither do the baldies. All right, let's check on the inside here at the European hornet nest. They are about adding on another layer of comb. You can see that little tiny stem there. So that's them getting ready to start building more comb there. Very, very cool. Lots of new envelope. Tearing away some of the older envelope. Okay, July 25th, we got some new comb being started right there. So this will be the fourth layer of comb. Lots more envelope, obviously. Lots more hornets too. There's definitely been some hatching going on. All right, so July 26th, look how big that comb is. Since last night. <laughs> Cathamaral species, everybody. Cool. All right, put the, set the GoPro up and let it time lapse under here. Keep going. 26th of July. This is like 9 o'clock at night. You can see they're still coming and going. European hornets are a cathameral species, which means they fly as much during the nighttime as they do during the daytime. They're peeing all over my GoPro. Listen to the sound of this nest. Crazy, right? <laughs> Here's the queen. Yeah, a lot have hatched from this nest. Look how crazy they are. All right, let me get the GoPro out of here. And call it a night for the, uh, give them a rest with the flashlights and stuff. All right, so it's the 27th of July. This is where we're at. Of course, this, for whatever reason, decided to shut off. It's got a battery in it, and it's being charged with a cable, but it still decided to give up. Don't know why. GoPros suck. That's all I can say. Ooh, she's cleaning. Lots of envelope. Obviously, four layers of comb now. And just continuing to build. It's awesome. Okay, this is July 28th. And the queen is laying an egg. Well, I was gonna get the queen laying an egg, it's still July 28th, but I got a phone call, so kind of uh, stifled it. I don't even know where she went. It's a bummer, because she laid the egg. The egg is right there. 
I'll zoom in on it. So the, there's three right there in the cells. It's the one farthest to the right, I believe. So that was a bummer. I was hoping to get a good shot of her laying that egg. But Henny was also barking up a storm in here, so I guess it's better that I'm filming now, not <laughs> when she when she's sitting there barking and carrying on. She wants to lay her egg, but I think the other girls were kind of bothering her in the coop, so barking at them. And this hornet caught a bald-faced hornet. So a European hornet caught a bald-faced hornet. She's going to feed it to the rest of them. <laughs> She's got the thorax of a bald-faced hornet up there. That's what they're biting at. I would love to have seen her actually catch that bald-faced hornet because there's the abdomen of it right down here. And it's head. And now they're tearing apart its thorax. Can't be mad, that's nature. So I wonder if they find out where this nest is. If they'll like start picking them off the nest. Wouldn't that be wild and interesting? Interesting stuff. All right, for whatever reason, this GoPro stopped working. GoPros are such junk. I hope everybody realizes that. Okay, July 28th at 9 o'clock at night. This is where we're at. I've been doing time lapse today, but the GoPro decided to keep shutting off, so I have no idea how much footage I actually got, but. Lots of envelope. Like they actually connected it, I think you're on and not quite. Almost connected it. There's still reminiscent bald faced hornet down here. See the abdomen and the head. Head's like right here. So some other wasps, there's a mud dauber and the mud dauber right there. They've been busy. No honeybees in here. I get that all the time. People say, oh, they kill honeybees. <laughs> yeah, maybe if they find one. But they're not sussing them out. Very cool. I don't know how I'm going to string all this footage together. This is like hours of footage. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to shut these lights off so they can get some peace and build for the rest of the night. So, see you tomorrow. Keep going, girlfriends. And then this is Europeans are doing well. Let's go inside and take a look. So July 29th for this nest. There's the queen right in front of us. Lots of envelope. Lots of eggs, lots of larvae. Crappy GoPro is totally supposedly getting time lapse. We'll see. There's the queen getting ready to lay an egg. There's the egg coming out. Oh my god, I'm actually getting that. An egg just came out. Wow. I've never gotten that on camera before. That's awesome. She did it. Right there in front of us. Good job, girlfriend. Laying an egg. She's checking it. Look, she's checking the egg out. That's awesome. Cool. Never got that on camera before. First time for everything. Keep going, girlfriend. She's checking some of the comb out. Mashing some of it. So this isn't good enough. Let me handle this for you. <laughs> right after laying an egg. Awesome. Queen's getting ready to lay another egg. Let's see if we can see it come out. There it comes. And she just, oh, she just laid it. Or laying it. There it is. So it does not come out through the stinger, like people say it is. There's the egg. Good job, queen. 
Check it out. Check out your egg. Here you go. Move on to the next space. <laughs> and she immediately goes to start checking out cells, cell walls, and mess with them. Today is July 29th. And I've already witnessed the queen lay two eggs since they were right at the edge. There's a lot of uh, silk capped cells in these second to bottom comb, which is pretty wild considering I had just watched them build that like within the last couple days. All right, so July 29th, it's about probably almost eight o'clock. Maybe it is eight o'clock, I'm not sure. But still got the GoPro going. It's actually been, um, it's been doing time lapse all day. Cause I took the battery out of it and just plugged it into the wall. It seems to be doing well with that. So. A ton of larvae in this nest. I'm gonna get some audio recordings from underneath of it so you guys can hear what that sounds like. A lot have hatched out of here, so there's a lot of new workers and things. So like middle layer, you can see there's a lot of white caps. So there's a lot of adults going to be hatching very soon. You saw those little larva heads sticking up there. They're all scraping, meaning that they want food or they need to be toileted. This one's checking on them. Very cool. Oh, they're building up a little bit of envelope on that hole again. <laughs> Alright, so I'll keep you posted. Okay, so July 30th. So where we're at with the nest. As you can hear, we just kept on laying an egg. Well, lay it already, birdie. trying to be on top of showing this every morning and every evening it's harder than you think coming down here and making sure I show it <laughs> okay July 31st this is where we're at and this box is getting massive cut through over here So eventually they'll just chew off this little piece here. But they're almost connected over here at the at the wall. This comb is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, like wider. Cool. Okay, today is happy birthday to me, Hornet King. August 1st. It is my birthday. But here is the European Hornet colony. Today. There's a little hole that they were poking out, and they added some more envelope on the inside. She's massive. She's mastiff. <laughs> a lot of new adults, the ones that had their heads poked in the cells, those are new adults. Probably just hatched within the last, oh, somebody peed. Probably just hatched within the last day or so. i go around the side. Oh, well, yeah, they're poking out some of this here. It's officially starting to smell a little bit, so all this material is starting to soak in. You can see it's moist, very moist down on this fencing. Oh, it looks like they caught a, oh look, there's a spotted lanternfly. See? The wing of a spotted lanternfly. So European hornets catch spotted lanternflies. Awesome. Even more beneficial than we thought. Look at her go. Building. And that is the emu that you hear. <laughs> okay, August 2nd. And we got some grasshopper pieces that are be pulling apart. They just ripped that thing all to pieces. This is where we're at with it. Hey, this is where we're at with the nest. August 2nd, close to the evening time. Well, it is evening. It's like 5 or 6 o'clock, somewhere in there. 
Look at them all. There's a ton of hornets in here now. It seems like a lot have hatched. Almost, almost to the wall. Cool. There are a couple dead ones on the bottom here. But that's the way it goes. It's life. P. 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 I know you have to. Oh my god, P already. What are you working it up for? That's it? That's all you got? A little dribble? That's pathetic. Okay. So August 3rd. You see there's stem there in the middle. P, would you? Go ahead. And little dribbles. Interesting. Alright, so there's a stem there in the middle where they are building on yet another layer of comb. Just about, I think they are attached to the wall. <clears throat> so there have been a lot of hatchers because there are a ton of new adults in this colony. I mean, just a ton of them. So there should be a lot, oh, there's more peeing. There should be a lot of larvae up in there. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of larvae. So yeah, they're gonna keep growing. Cool, cool. August 4th. Here we are. Oh my gosh, look at all that activity. Oh, peeing. Nice. Lots of building on this comb. Lots of connections over here. Building on some comb over here. 9.30 at night, August 4th. And they just do not like this light one. Turn this down a little bit. That's as, that's as dim as it goes. Sorry, girlfriends. And I feel like I have to like talk over them because it seems like it's so loud. So they have really blossomed a lot of workers out of here. And the nest is really starting to smell too. Like from underneath, from like under here. You can see like the wood's damp. Everything's moist. It's even rusting this pipe. Obviously, he's staining the floor. This is the nest. August 5th. Give you a little backup shot inside the box. They are building on a lot of envelope today. This whole strip, you can tell where it's new, all it's wet. I'm building up inside of here. Obviously, got a lot of connections. I mean, the amount of workers that have blown up in this nest is insane. It's just going to get bigger and bigger and go faster and faster being developed because there's a lot more in here. And the queen's already been laying eggs under those in those new cells. So this whole stem here, there's I think most of them already have eggs on them. And that's the queen right there. Looks really good. So I'm going to let this uh, time lapse go as long as it's willing to. Oh, look, there's crap on there already. Look, they, they, they peed on this already. So might as well take that out and dry it off. August 6th. Apparently I've been saying the date wrong yesterday, but whatever. All right, so this nest continues to grow. This is the comb that they started to build two days ago, I believe. There's the queen. And these comb just like get closer and closer to the walls. I mean, I probably haven't gotten any shots of this, but I mean, they're only like three inches away from the plexiglass wall. What I hope happens since this nest is growing a lot faster than any of my previous years of doing this, um, I'm hoping that they get the comb right up against the plexiglass. That'd be really cool. That way I could see between the layers really well. So this nest is already well advanced for this time of year. After getting a nest this early, I don't know that I'll be able to get another nest early like this again with catching a lot of the workers and stuff like I did. So they actually built envelope all the way up to this part of the wall now pretty soon i'm not gonna be able to see the entrance hole all right so august 7th here's where we're at this nest is actually really starting to stink it's got a lot of uh 
fluids down here, you, as you can see. And under here, jumping down into my floor. That's nature of the beast. Built. Obviously, a lot of hornets have hatched out in the last short while. August 8th. This is where we're at. There's the queen. Very big. Very active. Lots of new eggs. The queen's actually working on some cells. This thing is just booming with like activity now. Put a new branch on down here. I did not do any time lapse today. And you kind of got away from me a little bit today. But it's fine. Those good girlfriends keep going. August 8th. And this nest is freaking massive. This colony is insane. They really don't like the light shining on them. So I'm not going to do this for a short spell, but I want you guys to hear what it sounded like in this colony. Take out the microphone. I'm trying to talk into it. Listen. Go to my recorder. The sounds of this colony is insane. August 9th, middle of the night, <laughs> not really, it's like 8.45 in the evening. Okay, it's August the 10th, it's going to be peed right in the beginning. I didn't get any time lapse today, I was up in the Poconos, so I didn't get a chance to set my camera up, but this nest is massive. It's soon close to their nighttime activities. There's the queen right there. She just got done laying an egg. Now she's getting ready to lay another one already. Alright, so I don't know if I've gotten any shots yesterday, but today is the 11th of August. And this nest is massive, and it's super, super active. I mean, they are just, they are just freaking going nuts in here. The amount of hornets that are growing out of this nest right now is insane. This envelope is just about ready to start touching the plexiglass. So I have a feeling this is going to be the biggest European hornet nest inside of a box that I ever made. Oh, there's the queen, straight ahead. So yeah, I'm going to set up a time lapse. I didn't set up time lapse this morning, so I'm just going to set it up for this evening. Oh yeah, they're getting ready to attach it here. 
that's like right close to the epoxy glass. Yeah, this is amazing. A lot of fanning going on. You guys can't hear it right now. I haven't set up the microphone yet today. But maybe I will get some sounds in this thing. Because it's even more active. Oh my god, and the sludge on the bottom. Look how wet that is. I don't know if you can tell through the video or not, but... She's sludgy. She's stinky. She's stinky. Are you stinky? Drips all the way down to the floor. That's all fresh. So, so this is the nest. August 11th at 9 p.m. Listen to the sounds of this nest. Almost got the envelope touching the plexiglass right here. And it is touching actually over here. Queen right there and laying eggs. August 12th. Here's where we're at. Even more hornets have hatched out. Yeah, I just didn't think that was possible. But they're eating the leg of something there. Or not eating it, but chewing it up. They're carrying in some kind of bug air. Holy cats. Not sure where she went. Yeah. There, there's somebody there with something. Some kind, of, some kind of big bug back there. Breaking it apart. <laughs> cool. All right, so this is where we're at. All right, get the time lapse set up. It's really starting to stink. Should put some baking soda or something down here. August 12th. Alright, so August 12th. I'm not sure what this girl's doing. What are you doing, girlfriend? There's nothing to build down here. So they're actually starting to build a new support for another layer of comb. We have one, two, three, four, five tiers of comb on this nest already, which is outstanding. There's the queen. Not sure what she's doing there, sticking her butt in that cell. That's already an egg in that cell, girlfriend. What are you doing? Find somewhere else to go. Don't go in there. That's the battery compartment to the go, the go crap. To the go amateur. Yeah, that's it. Go up here. This is where you need to be. Oh, she's building comb back there. Or envelope. The envelope is now stuck to the walls over here and over here. So that's good. And since there's a little window here, I'm imagining that they are going to be tearing more of this down soon. Oh good, you found your way up here. Good job. So lots of little chasms, envelope nooks and crannies, which is good because these outer layers up here will eventually become the sole envelope structure as they chew down this inner layer to expand the comb. Oh, the queen's over here now. Man, girlfriend, you're getting around. Round, round, get around. Coming in and out of the hole. That's what she said. So, yeah, just they're just on it. This is awesome. And there's a lot of schmutz and crap down here. 
hear what it sounds like. Okay, August 13th. Got a new stem of comb coming off the bottom of the main comb layer. Tons of activity. Just when I think that it couldn't get more active, it gets more active. <laughs> August 13th, inside the box. Doing well. I think I showed it the first thing this morning. And they clearly added quite a bit onto that little comb. There's the queen. They actually been adding some envelope to the wire down there. It's pretty funny actually. Looking good. Keep going, girlfriends. This is August 13th. That's the nest. This is my microphone, so I'm going to slide this microphone under the nest. Take a listen. Now it's directly under the microphone, or right directly under the nest. This nest is so incredibly active, it's crazy. The queen was up there getting kind of pecked around by the workers. There's so many wasps in here, it's incredible. And since it's nighttime, it's like 9 o'clock at night. So they're expecting it to be dark. And they're not a big fan of it being bright in here, so that's why they're flying around going after the light like they are. So obviously the box is completely closed off in here and they can't get in anywhere else, so. But they're still very, very active at nighttime. I'm not sure what that was all about, same froze. Very, very active at nighttime, still building. And I do believe a lot have hatched out from the comb layers <clears throat> in the last couple days. So and they're putting a lot of envelope on this screen down here, as you can see. Okay, so August 14th. Here's where we are. It's actually getting harder to get a good angle on this because it's getting so low in the box. How big that thing is. It's amazing. Paper pretty much all the way down along the sides here. You can see where it's connected in, where like the, the lines are here. Let's get to the point now where we won't be able to see the up inside of it anymore. They keep bringing the envelope down. Here's the queen. It is about nine o'clock at night. August 14th, so I'm going to push the microphone underneath of the dust. You cannot get me through this box. And is that an intense amount of hornets inside of this thing? Obviously, it's nighttime. 
it's dark. And they're expecting it to be dark inside the nest. There's the queen. Playing an egg. It's pretty wild. Cool. Okay, so this is the 15th of August, and as you can see, the glass is getting steamed up because they're just increasing so much moisture in this thing. So I'm going to try to clean off this glass, maybe even this evening or something. Just basically just open up the bottom here and then slide like a squeegee or something up inside, try to clean this. But I don't know how successful it's going to be. I mean, they're just they're just dripping fluid all over the place. So even once I do clean it, it's going to get dirty pretty much right away. But it's still all right up here because this is far enough away from the angle at which they squirt. So and they're trying to plug up a lot of the holes down here. You can see like these areas like under here, they're filling it in with with envelope, which this is like the only area down there they can actually breathe. But man, it just reeks. There's just so much debris, moisture. Okay, so August 15th. Here's our nest. This is it. It's zoomed out. <clears throat> Here's the queen making an appearance. She's got a lot of her fans around her, pecking at her. I don't know what they're doing. No one knows what they're doing. They like lick her and peck at her and nibble at her. And... Sometimes they look like they're trying to sting her, but they're not males, so I'm not sure what, what they are. What's going on there? Every one of my colonies has done this, but I don't know what exactly they're doing. Like once there's a lot of workers that hatch, then Several of them try to do this to the queen. I mean, she doesn't seem phased by it. She just kind of keeps doing her own thing. But, I don't know, it's really wild. First time I saw this, I thought it was them, like, mutinizing against the queen. But, like I said, this has happened, like, three or four colonies in a row do this. And there she goes. She's laying an egg. So, yeah, it's wild. Try to get in between the layers, you can see in between the layers. A lot of larva still, as you can see. A little chasm, so this one's feeding the larva, getting sustenance from one. Cool. You see all the larva dangling out of there. Okay, this is August 16th. This is where we're at. This is how far it is. You can see the steam in here. So, since it gets cool here in the barn at nighttime and early morning, but this nest stays nice and toasty and moist, obviously. So, it gets steam on the windows. You're steaming up your windows, girlfriends. There's no males yet, everybody. All females. Okay, August 17th. Here is the nest. It's about 8.40 at night. It's funny because every morning I come down here and this whole thing's all steamed up. You can't even see inside of it anymore because it's so cool out at nighttime. And it's humid inside the box so it steams up the, the windows. There's the entrance way over there, where they're all clustered. You can't get a good shot of it. Yeah, look at all the freaking larva inside these cells. Lots more hornets be coming out of here soon. August 18th. 
about 7.30 in the evening. This is the nest. It's a very good size. Deer just, I don't know how much we can actually see it. Oh, here's the entranceway. I thought they were going to start building on some camel on the bottom of this one, but the stem hasn't gotten any bigger since yesterday. If anything, they might have chewed some of it down. So maybe they're not quite ready to build another layer of comb yet. There's so much sludge down there. Some grasshopper legs, some kitty did legs. Several kitty did legs. Look, there's a grasshopper leg right there. Pretty soon this plastic's going to be too dirty to even see through. I don't see the queen. Man, there's a lot of larvae in here. Let the birdies out. I mean, chickens are already out. Check out the uh, hornet's activity. What is she doing? She's like building inside the hole. I want to chew away some of that too. Very active, obviously. Cool. And Baldy's doing really well. All right, so this is where we're at. They put a ton of envelope on today. I mean, just a ton. Look at this thing. It's practically a freaking Darth Vader helmet. I don't know if we could see up into the entrance waiting. Well, uh, yeah, we can. Barely. And this nest just reached down here. All this waste dripping into there. Like, you see it's still wet up here. Dripping down onto the ground. That's why I mean, he's peeing. There's the queen. So August 20th, they started to build a new little bit of comb on the bottom there. Lots and lots of building, obviously. This is where the nest is at. About 9 a.m. August 21st. And you see everything's very steamy. So it's always, I haven't been doing any videos of this nest in the morning just because it's been so steamy, you can't even see inside of it. Um, so I've been just not doing video first thing. But they're starting to put on a little comb here. I don't know, I can't get a good shot of any of this because it's all foggy in there. And trying to shoot through that doesn't really work, does it? So that's the best I can get of this little, this little piece there. But there's a lot more hornets hatching out. And up in here, like, it is so tight in between there. I don't know how those pupating adults are going to hatch out of there. Like, I'm really curious to see if they even hatch. I doubt they will. I mean, it's tight in a lot of these. Look at how tight that is. And they can't even fit in there to feed those larvae. So I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know why they built this so tight. You can see how it kind of, like, slopes upward. Like, it goes here, and then it slopes up. And that kind of like smushes in against some of that comb. Now, even the one above it's pretty tight too. I didn't notice that. Oh well. I think this one down here is nice and far away. So. And they're just building a ton. So I'm going to leave this door open throughout the day. And that will allow, obviously, air to go up and really kind of blow up inside of there. So hopefully that dries it out. The other thing I thought about was maybe drilling some holes from the top, but I've been hearing somebody chewing in there, so I don't know what they're chewing against. I don't know if it's chewing against the plywood going through the box into the wall or what, but I'm not sure what's going on here. Tom Foolery. I don't know if she's about to die or dying. No idea. What I'm expecting is her just to drop her. And then 
<laughs> it's really weird. I don't know if she's stinging her. She's trying to sting her. Like, what's she doing, dude? Doesn't look like her stinger's coming out, but she's also hitting her too fast for me to tell. Thank you for peeing right on my camera. Now that comb laid so far. The new, the new comb. So, looks good. Still time lapsing. I'm gonna get that out of here. It's getting dark out, so. Keep you posted. Oh, she did she finally stop? Oh yeah, she's done. She's done with her. I guess she wasn't killing her. She's probably just cleaning her. It's wild. I guess it's really no point in trying to film in here. It's nine o'clock at night, and there's just a ton of moisture on the side of this box. So I really can't even show you what that looks like. There's just so much moisture looking a little bit clearer so I can get some better shots in there but there's still just so much moisture inside of that box I was hoping with the door open it would really dry it out which looks like it's helping but it is just sludgy mess Look how sludgy and nasty it is down there it reeks sludgy on the floor this is August 24th I did not get any time lapse today because I was running late this morning. So some of the moisture is worn down. I left the door open to the barn and that way allowing air to come in here and you could see the air moving underneath of it. So, But there are just a ton of hornets. A lot of have hatched. So um, there was quite a few uh, silk caps that were chewed off. So I think they were coming from between this layer. Alright, so August 26th. You can't really see in here. Um, I don't have a flashlight down here with me. So, But they're building on another layer of comb. I'll have to come out in the evening time to show all this because there's so much condensation on this box. It's hard to see. So. Slugging around there. Listen to the sound. Okay, it's about 9 30, 9 o'clock on the 26th of August. And this is where we're at. 26th. Super, super noisy up there. You probably can't hear it from here. All right, so there's the hornet's nest. Let's push the mic under the nest. sound of this nest. Just so you can know, here's me tapping. There's the queen. Getting ready to lay an egg. There she goes. August 27th, as you can see, this freaking box is filthy. They're peeing a lot all over it. But, that's how big it's gotten. I had to back up a good ways now to be able to get the whole thing in the shot. More pee. Just what we need is more sludge here at the bottom. Look at all these Katie did parts down there. Those green legs and wings. It's August 28th. Looking good. Super highway. Ooh, the 
look at the hornets today. Very, very active out here. Crawling up and down the wall. Going up the wall. <laughs> Flying all around me. The honeybee floating around here. You better get lost, girlfriend. They're going to tear you up. Feed you to their larva. Ooh, this honeybee. <laughs> girlfriend, you are... Stand at the lion's den. The baldies. Oh, there's a lot of males in this. These are all, these are males sitting right there. This nest is probably just about done. <laughs> this thing is just absolutely massive. don't see any males yet. They all look like females to me. Can't really see through here. I'll have to do it tonight. I'll do it tonight when it's not all steamy in there. Looking down in the uh, hornet's box here, right there is the abdomen of a cicada killer. Right next to a big grasshopper leg. So I wonder if it's my cicada killer that I've had around here. It's always interesting to get to see what they're eating. Lots of dead ones. They are clustered around the top here. They're not swarming or anything, they're just trying to get out to the light. But these are all females, it looks like I don't see any males yet. Showing on the wood up here. Yeah, they're trying to get out. These girls are staying there. <laughs> I'm gonna turn these lights off. All right, so here's the hornet's nest. August 29th. This is where we're at with it. <clears throat> p.m. my neighbor's mowing his grass. I think I'm still getting time lapse, so that's good. Yep, still recording time lapse on the uh, Go Amateur, aka GoPro. Cut a nice little gap up in here, which is kind of cool. You can see in there a little bit. I can't imagine they put very many more layers of camo in here, but there's, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers of comb now. So yeah, it's doing really well. And I will keep you guys posted. So they're freaking out. They're going all over my camera. The camera isn't recording anymore. Probably not. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Now this is where the nest is at. I'm going to turn off these lights. Get them to settle down. I'm gonna turn this light on, put it over here. Cause I gotta get that camera out of there. Are they stinging that? I'm just crawling over it. There's just hornets all over my GoPro, so I can't get it out of there to get the time lapse footage off. They're just like freaking out about this thing. I don't know what they're doing. Can't tell if they're stinging it or if they're just like, checking it out. But there are just a ton of hornets in this nest. This thing is just hopping. This is like the most like the most successful colony I've ever relocated, as far as European hornets are concerned. Alright, so this inside or well not the inside, this is the European hornet colony. Slowly creep in this doorway. So 
don't want to disturb anybody. This is the nest. Wowza. Made a mess of my trousers. Holy smack of wriggles. Very active. Oh, what do you got there? You got the lace envelope on the glass. This one it. see the queen anywhere. She's still active in here or not? I haven't seen the queen in a little while. All right, so this is September 2nd. Oh look, they're building on more comb. <laughs> this is where we're at with the nest. There are quite a few males in here. I still haven't seen the queen in a while. Oh wait, there she is, straight ahead. That's the queen, not, not a new queen. Near the queen. All right, so this one, look at this worker laying an egg. That's so cool. I've never actually gotten that on video before. I actually see a, a worker laying an egg. Yep, there's her egg. Wow, that's so wild. Now, if I see multiple eggs in a cell, I have to assume that that's probably worker is just laying more multiple eggs because I don't believe the queen does that I mean, look at all the guts of stuff from the bottom down there so much sludge man it just stinks it's dripping through it's so nasty it's dripping down there all right, so September 3rd, is it the 3rd? No, it's the 4th now, so no, it's 12 o'clock at night. This is where we're at. That's so we'll come here at the bottom. It's the nest. See the hornets clumping around the opening here. Yeah, I can smell the nest from here. Inside the box, 9 a.m. on September 4th. Got the GoPro set up finally for a day. <clears throat> it's a Sunday, so I finally have a day off-ish. is hopping. It's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to open up this door. <clears throat> put another light in, but also this is so hot in that box. I put in that GoPro, the GoPro's right here. Putting that in there with my fingers, I could feel the heat difference between out here and in there. It's so hot. She's pulling out a larva. What are you pulling that larva out for, girlfriend? She's chewing. Or she'd actually make you more on the loop. This top piece here. Completely close it off. But I'm just going to make it so... If they chew through it, and they can't... They wouldn't be able to get out of there. 
but I want air to be able to transfer through there. So that'll just be the, the way to keep the uh, hornets in, but the air to circulate. All right, so it is September what, 5th. Yes, September 5th. And it's about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock at night, I guess. Ish. See, it's getting dim. This is where we're at with the hornets. I just got in from removals, did a few ground nests today. Some other stuff. The hornets were getting out from here this morning. I found about 15 of them at the door. There's a couple dead on the floor, as you can see. So I taped it up with aluminum tape, as you can see there. Yeah, but this nest is just booming with activity. I don't know if they're going to build any more comb on the bottom of this, but that's a significant amount of comb down there. So right now they're all over my GoPro, which I want to get out of here. So I'm going to have to turn it off and then hope that the files save. So, all right, so this is September 5th. Look at the sludge coming out of this nest. Oh my God. You can't even see in there. It's so freaking humid. I had the fan running most of the day and it was dry as a bone. And now it's freaking swampy in there. Look how sludgy and nasty that is. Gross. I guess I should turn this. Look, it's dripping. It's dripping from here down to this pipe, running down the pipe, down the floor. That's so gross. You can see there's like maggots and stuff. This reeks. This is the worst part about relocating a colony. See the maggots? So nasty. So September 7th, oh my god, I just got home. I left when it was dark, and I got home and it was dark. Removals are killing me this year, this week. There's a rat with it. I can't even zoom in, it's so wet and nasty. It's still dripping, look how wet and nasty it is. Dripping there, dripping on the pipe, all the way down, and running across the floor. That is their waste. It's like stalactites of freaking Hornet waste. It's just dripping. It's so gross. But the nest is doing really well. Alright, so September 8th. It's in the afternoon. Like 4 o'clock or something. We've got some males up here. See the hooked antennae? Very indicative of a male. See the inside here. The new comb at the bottom is massive. I have to have the fan on because it's just so, look at, look at all the sludge, all that's their sludge there, it's so gross, all the sludge, that, there were stalactites there but I, I removed them, so, now it's all that crap at the bottom. Here's the queen, I haven't seen her in a while, laying an egg. All right, so it's the 9th of September, and of course it's, this is, uh, the fan has been off all night, and in that short amount of time, it has freaking swamped up again. You can see water about the drip coming from, well, that's water right there. Well, waste. This is all their waste sludge, look at it, just dripping off the bottom here. I had already cleaned all this off. This is all sludged up again. But they're happy to live in a sludgy, nasty, damp environment, I guess. There's a queen. So the nest is doing really well, too, but I'm going to let this fan run and try to dry it off in there again. It's just so damp. I mean, I think that they like it a little bit damp, but like moist, but not, not like where it's like that. Okay, so September 9th. It's in the afternoon, well, early evening. Man, I dried that out really well. I had the fan running all the, all day today. And remember this from this morning, all the stalactites, and it was so wet. Now it's pretty well dried out. All these carcasses are dried out, which means probably the maggots in there are all dried out. Oh yeah, you see them back here in the corner. Uh, it's not 
focusing. Oh, there you go. They kind of see them. So, yeah. So, here's the nest. Man, it's just growing and growing. I, didn't, I kind of thought they'd be done growing by now, but yeah, they're still rolling with it. It's a good size. It's dried out pretty well up here, too. So, that's good. Dirty. There's the queen. Well, they didn't kill you yet, queen. That's a good sign. Every European hornet queen I ever see that's like been active for a long time always has a weird black blotch on her abdomen. I don't know why that is. Oh well. Keep doing your thing, girlfriends. Oh, they're getting ready to build even more comb. Look, there's a stem down there. Cannot believe it. I never thought they would have that much freaking... There's some eggs up in there, too. So, we're going to have even more larvae coming out soon. Let's look at all these queens. There's a couple males in there, some queens. A bunch of males and queens there. There's a queen. Males and queens. There's mainly males there. But... So, I did clean this up pretty good. It's getting damp again, but most of the maggots are out of there. Most of the maggots are out of here. Still a couple. You can't really see in there because it's so moist again. But there's just a ton of hornets. It's the nest. This is the biggest nest I've ever had develop in one of my boxes. I mean, it's just like, it's from there all the way over with comb. And there's comb getting almost touching the wire. I'm curious if it's going to actually hit the wire. It's pouring down rain. Like the Postal Service, Hornets work day and night, and rain, or bright and sunny days. Cool. Okay, September 11th, here's where we're at. There's still, you can't see through a lot of this sludge, but there is a, another little bottom layer of comb down there. There are a ton of queens in here, there's a male. Tell the male by the hooked and black antennae. There's a couple queens up here. There's a male there. You can tell some of the males were in queen cells because they're. This is a queen here. That's not the queen, it's a queen. It's another queen. There's a lot of males. A lot of work still being done on this thing. Um, I have the fan on again, drying everything out. I just cleaned up the sludge yesterday. You can see there's more sludge back there again. A lot of maggots back in it again. It's just the way it is. More sludge under here, more sludge under there. Look at that, Look at that. lower layer. It's just packed with freaking hornets. It's crazy. All right, September 12th. Oh my lord, you can't see through any of this. I didn't have the uh, I didn't have the fan running today. Look how oh my god, look how sludgy and nasty that is. There's so much fluid dripping down that it's like actually spaced away. That's wild. Look at all these males. Five males lined in a row. There's a queen. Lots of males. There's a queen back there. Hey, there's the actual queen right there. Good, she's still alive. Look, oh, she's climbing up underneath. You can't see her. She's got a black mark on her body. That's how we know it's her. All right, so here are new queens. Lots of new queens and males. September 13th. Lots of males and new queens. There's a male. That's a male right there in the middle. Queen, queen, queen. Oh, that's a male, actually. Queen, queen. Lots of queens, lots of males. And they're all lined up there. They're all lined up in here. All lined up there. You know, there's, there's four queens right there. Well, oh, three queens and a male. The male at the top. Oh my god, it's just so much. That's the queen. That's the queen there laying an egg. So she's got this little black blotch on her abdomen. I always know it's her. This nest is just packed with 
adults. I need to try to open this box up so I can clean it. So I can clean this plexiglass so you can see inside of it better. I'm going to try to do that real quick. Alright, so September 13th. I was able to clean off the inside of the box somewhat. So now I'll be able to see in here a little bit better. That's how much clearer that is. Woohoo! I'll focus too well on the new little comb under there. I have to see the sludge again. That was a larva. Okay, September 15th, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Here is our hornet's nest. Look at all these queens. Lots of queens. Lots of males. That's a queen there at the top, too. And we're around with all the activity down here. They're not really building much on that comb down there. Pretty much where it was. So they're trying to expand the comb. <laughs> this one's laying laying envelope. Wow, they tore a lot of this envelope away. So they build the envelope to encase the comb and then once they get to the inside of a space they tear the envelope away to allow more room for comb. But they don't need any more room for comb because, well, the box is as full as it's probably going to get with comb and envelope. All right, September 16th. Here we are. It's all moist inside there again, even though I dried it out yesterday. Oh, look, there's a worker laying an egg. That is not the queen. You're not the queen. Stop laying male eggs. There's plenty of males in here already. Look, there's a male right there. Males and queens. This one's sleeping. Tell it's sleeping. Oh, was sleeping until I woke it up. Look at all these queens. There's like four queens right in a row right there. It's a line of royalty. Oh my. I just can't get over how big this nest got. A solid nest. Look at this one clearing away the sludge. I told you they were doing that. Where's she taking it? Is she taking it away? What are you doing with that sludge, girlfriend? She's hauling that sludge somewhere. Where are you going with that? She dropped it. So she piled it up. That's what she did. Hey, this one's eating it. That one's eating the moisture off the sludge. Gross. It's gross. Are you licking a corpse of a dead larva? Man, look how large these comb are. Look at all the space in between them. Hmm, it's a light brown that one is. That's bizarre. She's very like brownish instead of burgundy. Interesting. Okay, September 17th. This is where we're at. Can't really see in there, it's kind of damp. Maybe I should turn this fan on for a little bit. Oh my gosh, look at the clump of queens males. I want to see if they actually mate in this space. I don't think they're going to. I think they would probably have to leave to do that. I mean, look at that weird tannins coming out of the envelope, it looks like. I'm going to turn this fan on for a little bit try to dry it out. It's too moist in there, in my opinion. There's a lot of larva extractions going on here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I don't know if they're males that were in queen cells or what. See, they're dragging the, the waste and they're stacking it. What are you doing with that carcass? That's an old hornet carcass. I wonder if she's taking it out of here. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Where are you taking that? She's got to be taking that out fan running for a while to dry all this stuff out. 
Looks like it's pretty well dried out right now, which is good. So this is where we're at with it right now. Yeah, she laid the egg. Stinger goes away. Check on the egg. Next one up, girlfriend. There you go. She checked it. So there's a bunch of maggots. Fly maggots floating around around here. Scoop all this up. Take it out and give it to the chickens. Beep. All right, September 18th. Oh look, there's the queen. Look at that, right on the money. Hello, queen. Is this their new uh, bring out your dead place? They drag them over here and put them in a pile. They don't just fall out into that pile. They actually like, clean it up and drag them over there. Obviously, they're caking up envelope on the bottom of this thing here. Bottom screen, they're filling it up with envelope, as you can see. sludge and crap so that's where we're at today all right September 19th that's where we're at with the hornet's nest chewing away a lot of envelope Right, September 21st. Here's where we're at. Got so many freaking hornets in here. Is that the queen down there? Right, yeah, I think that's the queen straight ahead there. I was looking for her earlier. I couldn't find her. They got clean. They made the wire down there. It's all dry too. Like if you look under here, it's wet here in the corner, but then it's dry over here. There's no moisture down there whatsoever. They just blocked up all the holes. Blocked it up with envelope. <laughs> so wild. That's really gross right there. Stalactites and snot. So that's the nest. September 24th. I haven't made a post and I haven't got a shot of this in a couple days, mainly because nothing's really changed. They've grown the comb a little bit bigger, I suppose, but you can't really see in there because of how moist it is. It is cold outside today. It is like, it's like freaking, I don't know, 48 degrees right now. But they're still flying in and out. Still super busy, obviously. Non stop. It stinks so bad. All these stalactites here. That's like enzymes and bacteria and stuff digesting the larva and things. And this is just the gook that's coming out of it, plus their waste. And it stinks so bad. It like, smells like raw sewage. And you've also been exposing a lot of the comb here on the sides. 
it's really warm like touching this it's really warm in comparison to the door which is like ice cold it feels like to me but this is really really warm all right september 25th here's where we're at well this was somewhat dried out today but in the last like hour it got damp again so you're gonna see about as much of it as i can really show you envelopes all the way down to here there's two layers of comb down at the bottom here or two combs i should say you can't see all right there's the queen she's still kicking way to go queen look at this empire you've created this nest is massive Lots of new males and queens in here. Ew, look at this fly larva in there. That's a fly larva right there. So they're even laying eggs inside against the nest now, too. Gross. Oh, man, this nest just smells like, like raw sewage. Like, just straight raw sewage. Oh, God, it stinks so bad. The nest itself is not decaying or anything. It's it's all their waste. Look at all that. It's just like larva that came out and they're just rotting in there. Flies are eating everything. Laying their larva inside of there. Yeah. Ugh, so nasty. People ask, why do the nests stink so much? Well, that's why. Stalactite sludge sewage. It was so raunchy. It literally smells like a dirty diaper. Like that there's no other way to describe it. Like there's even fly larva up here. Ah, that's so rank. So there you have it. Sludgy <laughs> Nasty hornet's nest. Like there's maggots here too. Ugh. Yucky. I can't really clean it out because if I open that up, they're gonna go ape shit. So I'm just let the fan run, just kind of breeze it off in there. Hopefully, it'll dry it out. I'll take my piece of wood and I'll scrape underneath it here and get some of that sludge off of there. So it'll dry out faster. Alright, October 5th. And this colony is like half the size of what it was. I mean, there's, there's a few workers left. But uh, it's a little crappy again. You see a lot of larva on the bottom. There's not much in the way of worker activity. It's a lot of males. I was hoping to find the queen, but... I haven't seen her in a while, so she's probably dead. She probably either died inside the nest and got dragged out, or she left and died. Or she's in between the comb and died, I don't know. So, this is yucky. Very yucky. <laughs> Very yucky. <laughs> so, that's where we're at with it. The workers are all spazzy, so they have the colonies missing. Eventually, I'll, I'll probably come out here. I mean, the sounds underneath here is like one one hundredth of what it used to be. So I'll probably come out here in a couple of days and there'll be nothing, no sounds at all. So interesting stuff. There's a big spider up there. All right, so the colony's slowing down significantly. Um, there's like not that many left inside of here. Um, Most of these ones you're seeing here are actually dead. Um, there's a bunch of males and queens in there. There's a couple workers. They're flying in and out doing their thing, but for the most part, the nest is pretty much done. Colony's done. I was just looking for the queen. I was hoping to find the queen. Um, I was hoping to find her carcass so I could save her. Not save her, but just keep her. But, I don't know. I'm finding dead ones down on the bottom there, but... Not any ones that I think are the queen. But it was interesting. I was just out here at my wood pile. And 
I went to move some of these logs and I wanted to see if any of them were dry. And look in there. There's a queen. Wonder if she's mated, but she's getting ready to hibernate under here. So that's pretty freaking cool. So yeah, this is what I always tell people this is what they do, but it's, it's cool to actually see it happen. So there you have it. It's October 23rd, and this is all we got going on. Just a couple workers that don't really know what to do with themselves. This one keeps coming out and watching me because I'm bringing, bringing firewood from here, from the piles, taking it into the barn. But she definitely doesn't seem to care for the idea of me walking past the, the entranceway. Which is funny because all summer nobody's ever bothered me walking in and out of here. But they definitely become a little bit more sensitive when the colony dwindles. There's not much activity inside the hole at all, or inside the nest at all. Just a few queens and a few males walking around in there. So I just thought I'd share. All right, so it was just about 30 some degrees last night. As you can see, it's getting colder out. So, close this door. So our hornet friends, we got a couple in there. There's a couple queens. There's actually some workers in there too, but nobody's really going out and flying anymore. This is the demise of the colony, everybody. This is the way it looks at the end of the season. Okay. November 24th, and I'm going to take the nest down. Um, it's done. There's there's no activity in here anymore. There's a lot of dead carnage. So I'm going to take it down and open it up so we can see what it looks like. This is the final result. Massive. So let's get to it. Just like that. She's down. It's a sad day to see her see her be taken down. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm gonna take apart this box and show the inside of this nest. So I'm not sure the best way that I'm going to be able to take this apart because I put it together kind of like a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> but what I want to do is I want to take off all the plexiglass sides, take off the top, so that way I can pull the nest out in one piece. And I'm going to compare it to my previous years of doing this uh, European Hornet Nest in a Box series. So there really shouldn't be anybody inside of here. If there is, I'd be really surprised. But it has been kind of cool last few days. So if there is anybody inside... Um, they're gonna be really slow. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the top and we'll see if we can pull it out, which I don't I, I doubt we can because it's probably adhered to the, the sides of the box, but we'll try that first. Take this off. And that's the envelope that was. That's the envelope that was uh, caked to it. It's not dirt. It's paper envelope. Let it come off. I gotta clean that off. That's the inside. Let's take a gander. So that's the inside of this nest. And there you can see some, some cavities. This definitely has a smell to it. All right, let's, I don't see anybody sitting. Oh, you know what, this is detached. It definitely looks like this is detached. That's going to be a bummer if it's detached all the way. Oh, yeah. I think it's separated the whole way. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay. okay. 
little box elder beetle. And the other thing to do now is to take off the back. Turn this around so you guys can see it. the inside of the box you see where they had chewed around this opening quite a bit some dead carcasses there's really nothing else holding this up I mean it's kind of just hanging there on its own There's nobody alive in this thing. All right. bummer it's not sitting on that <laughs> that's how the other ones were. were glued to this put a screw through the top of it We'll get a shot of this in a minute. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew it was going to slip out. I knew it. Some of the envelope coming off of it there. This thing reeks. It smells like it smells like a musty basement. The envelope is just so brittle. This is by far the biggest European hornet nest I ever grew. Oh, we got a little guy. So that one kind of got a little bit smushed when it fell down. But see a lot of these unhatched silk caps. Still got pupating adults inside. She almost looks like she's alive. If she's alive, that is wild. Let me, uh, let me grab some tweezers. I believe she is alive. So there's still live pupating adults in here. Let's crack some of these other ones open. That one is alive too. I mean, they wouldn't have survived because it would get too cold. It would kill them anyway. These are all alive. That one's dead. So there's this year's nest.
last year's nest and the previous year's nest. This one definitely had a lot more envelope on it. Even this one had a qu quite a bit of envelope. Now, you have to remember that the envelope was being caked on this one, but then they were tearing it down right away to build more comb. So as they build comb out and they touch the sides of the plexiglass, then they start chewing the inner layers away. So this really only had this thin layer of envelope in it, as opposed to like this one, which has multiple layers of envelope because the comb didn't get as big, so they didn't have to tear down as many layers of envelope. They tear down the envelope to make room for more comb. Super, super cool. Now, like these ones, you can see like there's no silk caps. So there were no pupating adults in this one. This one had a lot of pupating adults by the end of the year. Like there's a live one right there. Right there. Hmm. And all these live ones came out. So I get to give them to the birds. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you made it to the end of this video, drop in the comments and tell me what you thought. How cool you thought watching the queen lay her eggs. How cool it was to see them chewing up whatever catch that they got, whether it be the bald-faced hornet or some of the other wasps, or watching them build. Tell me what your favorite part was in this video. What you thought was most interesting. Something you learned. Tell me something you learned from watching them build this nest. But drop in the comments, let me know what you thought. It took me hours, it actually took me days, it took me weeks to put this video together. Well, technically it took me months because if you count me shooting it, it took me from early July till the 24th of November to shoot all of the content for this video. So if you wanna drop in the comments, tell me that you appreciate that, <laughs> appreciate all that effort. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.